Welcome back. I'm Lizzie. And I'm Tammy. So we are right in the heat of finals right now, and I'm stressed. How are you feeling? I'm so stressed. I've, yeah. I don't know if I've had this much work in a long time, honestly. Yeah, it's, it's like so a culture like, shock. Yeah. Like being in the journalism school, I have like a lot more projects than I do yeah. tests. Is it like the same way for you? Same for me. I don't have a single final. Me which either. For me, I actually like projects and like essays better, mm -hmm. so I really like that aspect. Right. But like, how do you feel about not having tests? You know, sometimes I would, I like a project better, but honestly, they take so much time that I would do right. anything for a test right now just to like get it over with. Right. And just take it, be done. Exactly. 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 <laughs> I totally feel that. But yeah, I know. So much stress right now, which like is a really important point though, that like we have to make sure we like prioritize ourselves Take care of and ourselves. like our mental right. health because I feel like we get so amped up that sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm literally killing myself right. over a singular project. I know. And like you said, I your agree. mom just texted you and she's like, Yeah, she You're was so mad much. at me because I was staying up so late. I stayed up till five AM doing oh a project gosh. at the library and she was so mad at me, but I'm like, I don't really have a choice, but also, it's hard. We have to like prioritize our mental health. Like, what do you do? What like makes you de-stress and everything during all this? Right. I try to like set like a chunk of time aside, and I say like, this is when I need to get all my work done. I have to grind, whatever. So like yesterday, I went to the library from like 1:30 to like 5:30. Mm -hmm. Did those four hours, and then after that, I was like, I'm done for the day. I right. did. Like, I've done all that I can do, and I just need to be done. I went home. I had a movie night with my roommate. We watched oh, The I Grinch, get in the Christmas spirit, made some cookies, and I was like, I'm going to treat myself tonight. And right. I know I'll, like, work hard the rest of the week, but it's just, like, giving myself a little bit of fun, but also, like, still getting my work done, if that right. makes sense. I agree. I know, like, one of my biggest things is, like, working out and, like, staying active. Yeah, it's so true. Big, but it's also really hard to, like, find that time at the exactly. same time, you know? Yep. But, um... That's something that's really good, and I know it helps a lot of other people. Um, yeah, and also just, one. like, utilizing all the resources on campus. So true. And, like, everyone that's here to help, like, all that kind of stuff. Exactly. They want to see you succeed. That's the thing. Right. Nobody's trying to, like, make you fail or make you overwhelmed. Right. It's just, we like, just have to get through these next few weeks. I know. we will be in the clear. Only, like, four more days of classes, though. And I then know. stop and day is Friday. That's pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. We're actually we going, to, going to lunch together. <laughs> so we're very excited to just going to bird dog. treat ourselves then and the semester right and then it's winter break are you mm -hmm. excited i'm so excited i need a break so bad i'm so, so excited bad. to go home and see my family oh my gosh true. and just like really get in the christmas spirit you know because i right. feel like i haven't been able to because i'm just always yes doing work, you're you so know? stressed that you like can't even enjoy it. i know yeah and it's like weird because like it's not it's just not the same like christmas mm -hmm. at home is something so different so like same as you i'm so excited to just like be with all my family even friends and just like really embrace right. Christmas, have no school, get to work mm -hmm. again. Oh, yeah. Make some money because I need to do that. We all need to do that. Yeah, we all mm -hmm. need to do that. But it's been a long semester. It's so. been a long semester, but it's been a good one. It's been and good. I'm glad that we got to do this together. Me too. Um, I guess that's kind of all we have yeah. for today and for the semester for you guys. So thank you for joining us. Um, after this will be Boulevard Buzz with Gabby and Cameron.
Welcome back. I'm Carolyn Abel, and this is your pop culture update. Pop singer SZA announces a release date for her next album, which has been long awaited. The album is titled SOS and will be released this Friday, December 9th, right before the singer's third debut on Saturday Night Live. A teaser trailer for the new Prince Harry and Meghan Markle documentary was released this past week on Netflix and has received loads of attention. The documentary dives deep into the personal lives of the couple and their flee from royalty. There is no set date for when the documentary will be released, but it is rumored to be sometime this week. Nick Cannon was hospitalized with pneumonia this past Saturday. Cannon made the public aware as he posted selfies from his hospital bed, telling followers to take care of themselves. He ended the post with hashtag lupus warrior, referring to his ongoing battle with lupus. The case is not super severe and Cannon should be released from the hospital within the next couple of days. It's everyone's favorite time of the year, Spotify wrapped. This year's top listened to artists on Spotify streaming were Bad Bunny, Kanye West, Drake, and Taylor Swift. Harry Styles, as it was, was the number one song of the year. December's predicted fashion trends have been released and it looks like it's gonna be a trendy winter. North Face will be re-releasing their 92 retro puffer jacket to the public next week, which comes in blue, orange, red, and green. Tiff Tiffany & Co. also announced they will be releasing an Andy Warhol-inspired jewelry collection in late December. That's all for your pop culture update. Grace and Bella are back with another Chicks at the Hawk. What is your last Google search? Do you know? Actually, it is. I was looking for the best chili recipe ever, and I found it. Did you? So tomorrow, I'm going to be cooking the best chili ever while we decorate a Christmas tree. How about that? Um... I googled what a narc was. You googled what a narc was? I didn't know what that was. <laughs> Where can I get a new car battery in Lawrence, Kansas? <laughs> Mine is the Divergent movies and where to watch them. <laughs> it is the price of Taylor Swift tickets. Um, um, the, the movies that Chris Pratt's in. How to be a mascot at KU. Gmail. Gmail? Gmail. You don't have the app? No, I don't have the app. Do they ha do they offer that on the app store? Christmas gifts for yourself. That's all for another Chicks at the Hawk. We'll be back yeah. with an. <laughs> it's okay. I'm Jill Dean, and this is your sports update on LFK Unscripted. It's been a big week for Kansas college sports, as KU football is heading to Memphis, Tennessee, to face the Ark the. Arkansas Razorbacks in the AutoZone Liberty Bowl on December 28th. This is the first time since 2008 that KU has attended a bowl game. Kansas State also set to face the University of Alabama at the Caesar Superdome in New Orleans in the Sugar Bowl on New Year's Eve after winning the Big 12 championship against TCU. Yesterday, the teams for the college playoffs were announced. Georgia will face Ohio State and Michigan will face TCU. Both games will be played on New Year's Eve both teams will then advance to the national championship on January 9th. Kansas basketball travels to Columbia, Missouri this weekend to play the University of Missouri in this year's Border War game. This is the second time the Jayhawks have faced the Tigers since 2012. That's all I have in sports now. Emily and Kenna will join us live with another news update. Thanks, Jill. I'm Kenna Heimowitz. And I'm Emily Baldwin. A drive-by shooting in a Nashville funeral home on Saturday has left two injured. An 18-year-old woman and a 25-year-old man were shot as they were leaving the service of 19-year-old Tarana Johnson. Police are still searching for the suspect or suspects who were reportedly driving a black Honda Civic at the time of the incident. Some attendees of the funeral were armed and able to fire back at the vehicle. It has been about three weeks since the stabbing of four University of Idaho students. The victims who lost their lives were Ethan Chapin, Kylie Gonclaves, Zana Kernodal, and Madison Mogan. Authorities have said the attack was most likely targeted, however, investigators continue their search to identify a suspect. While the Idaho town hasn't seen a murder since 2015, they are slowly healing from this shocking event. New Jersey environmental officials have established a forest fire prevention plan that will cut down up to 2.4 million trees in the Bass River State Forest. The forest is federally protected and renowned as an environmental treasure, but many believe the plan to be necessary protection against wildfires. The project, set to begin in April, has received mixed responses from environmentalists who note the role of carbon storing trees in fighting climate change. 
Concerns have also been expressed about the use of herbicides in the forest, which sits atop an aquifer of purified water. President Joe Biden has come out with a statement introducing his plans to ban assault weapons in the U.S. Resulting from a recent string of mass shootings, Biden has come to the conclusion that the allowance to purchase, purchase semi-automatic weapons is simply irrational. However, due to a divided Congress, it is assumed that there will not be votes to pass this ban for at least two years. Earlier this month, KU's Rock Climbing Club hosted the Wild Wild Midwest College Showdown as an extensive bouldering competition here at Climb Lawrence. Around 80 climbers competed, all from a variety of colleges such as K-State, Nebraska-Lincoln, and the University of Missouri, among others. The event was divided into four categories based on gender and the individual's climbing ability. The first place winner in the Advanced Women's Division came from the University of Washington in St. Louis. The men's first place award went to a student from the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. U.S. photographer Spencer Tunick gathered up to 25,000 naked people for a photo shoot last Saturday. In a project to raise awareness for skin cancer, Tunick asked for volunteers to pose in the nude at Bondi Beach in Australia. Tunick has partnered with the charity Skin Check Champions and hopes to advocate for regulatory skin checks as well as continue to spread his art in positive and beneficial ways. Thanks for watching LFK Unscripted. Join us next semester for more sports, news, and entertainment.